very good morning students welcome to the another session of irrigation and hydraulic structure subject in the previous lecture we have discussed about what is a spillway what are the different types of spillways and uh, based on the purpose of utility uh, we have classified it as main spillway and uh, emergency spillway and based on the prominent features we have several different different types of uh, spillways so in those we have discussed about vertical fall or else we call it as a vertical drop spillway as well as we can call it as overflow spillway overflow free fall okay so now the second one is uh, ogis spillway so in ogis spillway we are discussing about ogi profile so in continuation to the previous class let us uh, get into the lecture so here this figure shows you the ogis profile okay so here you can see see the ugi profile is designed in such a way that it gives some prominent features it may be in the form of economy it may be in the form of high hydraulic efficiency and high structural stability and also objectionable sub atmospheric pressure at surface so these are the three different prominent features of ogis spillway profile ogis profile okay so it is economical it has high hydraulic efficiency maximum possible hydraulic efficiency as well as the maximum structural stability is provided okay so these are the prominent features of ogis profile okay so here in the picture you can see this picture uh, shows you that in this picture it shows a sharp crested weir so let us assume it is a weir sharp crested so whenever the water is flowing with some head head h so in this particular case the nappy will follow a profile like this okay so this is a sharp crested weir example of a sharp crested weir so it will flow like this so this kind of nappy will be observed okay so in the similar fashion by resembling the same kind of phenomena as it is showing as the nappy is following so based on this sharp crested weir falling nappy our ugi profile is also designed okay so let us see that so this is your sharp crested weir uh, with some head h it is following a nappy like this so similarly resembling the same concept in the ogis profile so what we are de designing we are designing the ogis profile so this is the design head which for which the design head is given for the ogis profile so we are following like this so this is the ogis profile given here so the water with head will flow like this this is the flow of water okay so this is the ogis spillway at design flow a spillway is or ogi flow is designed for a flow or head which is called as hd okay now in the third case so whatever the actual head is there in the at the height at the free board so that head is let us assume it is greater than this design head whatever the design head of this particular ugi profile is there that is lesser than the actual head which is existing in the reservoir in the free port okay so if this happens if the ugi profile design head is lesser than the actual head then in that particular case what happens the water nappy will be jumping from the jumping from the surface of the ugi profile right instead of this here in the first case what is happening it is continuously in in contact with the surface of the ugi profile when if the head as well as design head of the actual head as well as design head of the ugi profile are equal okay so here in the second case the actual head is greater than the ugi profile design head so in this particular case what happens there may be a formation of jump cavities will be formed as the water nappy is not in contact with the ugi's profile ugi's surface 
so as it is flowing like this by forming a cavitation or separation so a turbulent action will be developed which gives additional vibrations as well as it may be due to the fluctuations additional vibrations are developed and this cavity will create some vibrations and which may lead to the structural damage of the yogi's profile so it is very necessary to maintain the good relationship between the actual head as well as the design head hd this is very very important either they should be equal or this head should be less than the yogi's profile design head then only the dam will be safe against the falling napping okay so this one you need to understand if you are taking care of the yogi's spillway profile if you are designing the yogi's spillway then you should consider the head in this way okay so here in the fourth figure you can see the elements of nappy shaped crest profile so whatever the nappy we are following in this so the elements are clearly mentioned here so this is the vertical face and freeboard height is given as 0.126 of hd and the distance width of this profile crest profile is given as 0.27 hd and this is the origin and apex of the crest apex in the sense highest point of the crest this one and from here the x axis is shown as well as y axis is shown here so these are the x and y axis so both are in positive directions here it is considered both are in positive directions so this one will give you the downstream profile of a yogi spillway and this time downstream profile is following a equation that is x to the power of 1.85 is equal to 2 into hd here hd is what is hd here it is the design head of the yogi's profile so 2 into hd to the power of 0.85 into y where x and y are the coordinates coordinates of this yogi's profile okay so for those values different combinations are given and we have a table of column also for that okay so this is about yogi's elements elements of a nappy shaped profile crest profile now let us see in detail about this so if you want to design yogi's profile you need to oh, take care of upstream surface as well as downstream surface as well as crest profile also okay so let us have a look at this first one crest profile for vertical upstream face let us assume the upstream face is vertical like this so it is vertical so sometimes it may be inclined also so due to some problems it may be inclined also like this okay so depends so if it is vertical what is the scenario let us have a look at this so design of the downstream profile so whatever the downstream profile is there how to design that let us have a look at this so as we have seen in the figure it follows the equation as x to the power of 1.8 is equal to 2 into hd to the power of 0.85 into y so here x and y are the coordinates of the crest from the apex okay hd is the uh, design head of the yogi's profile it's which excluding the right hea value approach velocity head so the profile is followed so whatever the equation is there this equation so the profile is designed by following this equation okay now here you can see the elements so this already discussed so here two conditions are there suppose if lower heads are there and if higher heads are there then what will be the impact of lower head as well as higher head on this yogi's profile downstream profile let us have a look at that suppose in the first case let us assume the head is small so if the head is small right flow is head of flow is very small so in that particular case what happens pressure on the crest is above atmospheric pressure so pressure on the crest is above atmospheric pressure okay so as it is flowing very slowly as the head is low so it will create more pressure than the atmospheric pressure okay 
And the second case, what happens? The second case for higher heads, higher heads, what happens? It creates less pressure on the profile. So it is lesser than the atmospheric pressure and it may develop cavitation. As the head is high, what happens? So it may form some jumps or some cavitations may be developed on the OGIS profile, which may lead to the failure of the tank. Okay. So in the model test, in the model test, it is showing that whatever the design head is there, whatever the OGIS spillway is designed for one particular design head HD, design head HD. So in that particular case, so this design head may be extended, may be exceeded by 25 percent. So even if the head is exceeded more than the designed one by 20 percent, then also there, then also there will not be any formation of the cavitation. So if the head is exceeding beyond 25 percent of the designed head of the OGIS profile, then only the cavitation problem will be arising. Okay, so this is shown by the modal test. Okay. Now the second case, what we are following, we are following upstream crest profile. How to design? What is the design criteria? Right. So in order to ensure that there should not be any discontinuity along the profile, we know what is the problem if we, there is a discontinuity cavitations may be formed. Okay, so the upstream profile should have a slope 0 at the crest axis. So here you can see, here you can see it is like this, it is like this. So at crest axis, so it is maintaining a 0 slope here. So whenever water comes and the slope is 0, then it is come, it will come like this. So this is to maintain, to avoid discontinuity. So the crest should be at zero slope, apex should be at zero slope. Okay. So according to the latest analytical studies of US Army, so this is the equation given for the upstream crest profile. So that is y is equal to 0 0.724 into x plus 0 0.270 hd to the power of 1.85 divided by hd to the power of 0.8y plus 0 0.126 hd minus 0 0.4315 hd to the power of 0.85 multiplied by x plus 0 0.270 hd this is uh, sorry i made a mistake this is 0 0.65 this is 0 0.65 this is not 1.85 this is 0 0.65 so this is the equation given for the design criteria of upstream press profile okay so this is the equation to be followed for upstream press profile and previously we have seen one more equation x to the power of 1.8 so that equation is for uh, downstream profile. So by using these two equations this design criteria is adopted. Okay. Now here uh, whatever the OGIS profile we are discussing about it should be noted that upstream curve at crest should be neither made too sharp nor too broad. For example, if the crest is made too broad, then what happens? The nappy broad crest supports lower nappy. So nappy will be reduced, okay, which produces positive hydrostatic pressure and reduces the discharge. Means flow will be very smooth if it is decreased. So flow will be very, very smooth, like very slow comparatively. So if it is, if the crest profile is like this, then immediately after jumping the water will be flowing like this. So it depends on the crest, right, broad. If it is broad, the flow will be very slow. If it is very less, adopt, uh, like it is very sufficient, then it, the flow will be smooth. So in that case, if the curve is too sharp, means too sharp in the sense, let us assume it is like this. If the curve is too sharp. So in that particular case what happens? So the Ugi profile, the nappy will be leaving the Ugi profile. So immediately after this it may fall like this by creating a void or what we can call it as cavitation. Okay, so this problem will be there. Okay, and which creates negative pressure and cavitation 
will be there and uh, increases the discharge. Discharge increases, but due to the negative pressure and cavitation, the structure may fail. Bogie's profile may damage. Structural damage will be there. So that is the reason this profile should not be broad like this. Should not be sharp like this. It should be medium like this. Should be medium, sufficient enough. So if the if it is exceeds, then there will be a problem of this one. If it decreases, then this will be a problem of this one. So that is the reason the Oogie profile width width at the top surface is also very very important. 